All right, so in this video, I wanted to just review what I had gone over yesterday. Um, so you can just watch along as I do this. So I brought in this gradient background, and then I added in this picture. Um, so just to kind of give you ideas of things that you can do, I merged my um, two layers together, um, and then started to play around with blend modes. So remember, you have these different blend modes that can change the effect of your picture, which are pretty cool. Um, then I had taken my eraser and kind of lightly erased away at parts of this image so that they're not showing through. So what I would do when you're creating your background is try to create the littlest, uh, keep it very minim minimal, right? The the least amount of stuff on here. Um, so I, this is going to be like my general background. And then any other type of objects I add to the background, I'm going to add them in separately. And I'll explain why. So now this is my background, right? Um, what I'm going to do now is merge these two layers together by doing Control E. I'm going to drag this picture over to Illustrator. So this is Illustrator. Okay. And both of these file sizes are 11 by 17, right? So they match. I'm going to lock this layer, right, so that it doesn't move. And I'm going to add a new layer. This layer could be called text. All right, so maybe that's where I'm going to add text. Maybe I'm going to create a layer a new layer and have this be like my graphics, where my graphics will go. So I'm going to keep it on my graphics layer because now I'm going to show you how and why it's important to add them in separately. So I found this graphic of uh, Aquarius water sign. Um, if you're going to, you could, the, the pros to working in Photoshop is that you can you know, delete and transform and change color in Photoshop. So I can take this image, get rid of the background. Oops. Get rid of the background, right? And then um, uh, bring this image into Photoshop, or I might even want to change the color of it. Maybe I want to make these um, objects maybe like more like a purple, because that's kind of the. the color scheme I have going. Um, and so now I can use my paint bucket. I'm just going to color those in purple. Um, so before you bring a picture into like this into Illustrator, you're going to want to crop it. You want to crop it as close to the edge of the object as you can possibly place it. All right. Um, and then hit enter. And then the really cool thing is that you can take this now and drag it into um, Illustrator and you now have this separate graphic. So I wouldn't put all your graphics in your background. Um, I would only add some. This way you have more freedom to move things around um, as you work and create your poster. Um, if you were to merge this into your background and then you don't like where you placed it, um, you have to go back into Photoshop to back into Photoshop to work on it, to then go back into Illustrator. So I would try to keep things as separated as possible, as you can see what I'm doing here. Aquarius. Um, so that you can really kind of like move things around. All right. Um, and that is how I would start my poster. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.